this has to be the most thrilling. I mean, this game was just down to the wire and back and forth and exciting all the way through. It, it was a great one. It's right up there with the uh, you know Murray State win. Um, you know, and it, obviously the Murray State win feel like it was about two months ago. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, this one is is just a few moments ago. So this one, you know, it, it's it's right up there at the top and. You know, anytime you can get a get a win against, which I think is a dangerous team, I, I think Simos is talented. You know, and, and they're so dangerous. I mean, you talk about taking away Bradley scoring, you know, because he was scoring about 23 points a game, uh, but then Stoneville for 37. You know, and that's what makes them so good because you know you it's it's hard to stop their whole entire team. You know, someone's going to score uh, a lot of them for a lot of bucket points for them. You know, so. Um, I'm, I'm, you know what, and I'm just excited that Bradley missed that three to tie the game with 5.1 seconds to go. You know, I, I just, um, I, I thought our guys did a tremendous job just keep fighting and uh, executing plays down the stretch, uh, especially on the offensive end. Uh, Lennox, uh, despite Stone's 37, you had, he'd score, but then you'd have different guys scoring. Looking here, you had one, two, three, five guys in double figures, and they scored 78 of your 93 points. So. You, you always countered what he did with different guys. It was almost not five against one, but it, right. it seemed that way scoring-wise. Well, you know, the, our, our team, and um, and I'm a big believer in, in playing team basketball and, and not just have, you know, one guy doing all the scoring for you, but just kind of have a balanced um, basketball team to where if get, some guys are, are not doing well, other guys can pick it up. But, uh, you know, and I'm just so happy that other guys were, were making yeah. shots, you know, and. And there was, I mean, as um, Darian can tell you, we, we have about 150 plays, and um, you, you know, and everyone's involved. And there's there's not, uh, you know, 50 for one guy and then 10 for, you know, it's it's yeah. spread out equally to where if we need a bucket, whether we need a three or a or a or two or a dunk, you know, we know who to go to because we have just kind of a balanced offensive uh, attack that I, I would like to say. Did you run all 150 of them tonight? <laughs> we, we did. We did. You know, it was uh, down the stretch. It was, yeah. it was you, you know, I, I pick and choose because, you know, we were down five and, and, and call yeah. run a play for Chris Davis. He came off, knocked it in, you know. Uh, we were down two um, at the last second there and, and uh, run a play for Dono and, and, um, and, and uh, Keaton. And, and you know they made a good play to um, to send it in overtime. You know, so w was that the play for Keaton? I mean, the the time well, basket. You know what? It, it was it was for Donovan to make a read. You know, if he was wide open, shoot it. If he mm -hmm. was uh, if he had an angle, drive it. If Keaton was open, pass it to him. And you know, he made all the right reads. I mean, he, he came off. He wasn't open. He put it on the floor. Um, help came over and he dumped it off for uh, for a put in for to tie the basketball game. And Keaton really paid. He had two at half, and he wound up with 16. And I think that last basket, is set, <coughs> excuse me, in overtime, then he got maybe six points in overtime. He really picked it up late well, in the game, and he, he maybe played as well as he did. Right, and you know what? He picked up an early foul, and uh, I know he's very foul prone. So I was trying to protect him as long as possible. I played Grant. Grant picked up three. Um, Ray picked up a couple. So I had put him back in, and in about three seconds, he picked up a he picked up his second, you know. So, um, and that's why he didn't score a whole lot. He didn't play a lot of minutes in the in the in the first half, but play obviously played a ton uh, in the second half and in, in, in all the overtime. And talk about, I mean Donovan. I mean he, uh, eleven assists tonight. I mean that, you know, we bring in the guys that scored the points, but I mean they were quick to say that it was him that was able to set him up. He did a great job directing the team. Oh, most most certainly, and and it's all about. You know, guys being unselfish. I tell you what, I, I thought our guy, our team was very, very unselfish tonight because Roselle was hot, and all of a sudden we went to um, Keaton Jackson, and he wasn't. It, it wasn't like he had an attitude like, "Hey, I'm scoring all these points, keep going to me." He was willing to make the extra pass and do some things to get Keaton involved and, and Donovan involved and Chris Davis involved. So I mean, it's it, that's the way I, I, I like it, you know, for guys to accept their role. You know, Donovan role, he understand is, hey, he's gonna get assists, but at the same time, he can score. Because every time I look at the stat sheet, I rarely call plays for him, but every time I look at the stat sheet, he's always double digit, digits in, in uh, shot attempts, you know, and, and tonight, you know, if he would have knocked some down, he would have been unbelievable in the fact that he could make basket and still had 11 assists. Yeah, Stone, Stone was 15 for 19, now scored you 48-32 in the paint, but 
the rebounds were even, so you're doing something right there with, and you with know the inside defense. You know, it's 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 our our rebounding has picked up ever since someone graduated from here. <laughs> 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 but uh, but no, I, you know, I, I, th I thought our guys battled. You know, I, I challenged them on rebounding the basketball this game because the first game we played Semo, we um, gave up 17 offensive rebounds. Um, and uh, I, I, you know, end up losing by three, which actually we were down one, 10 seconds to go with the basketball and turn it over. Um, so I challenged them, you know, to limit our mistakes and, um, and, and let's not beat ourselves. And I thought they, um, we came close tonight, um, you know, especially against a tough team uh, like SEMO. Uh, but I'm glad our guys, um, you know, were able to pull it out. It's, it's a great win, you know, great win for our program and for the, um, for athletic department. Is Stone's so, so, ability, so, 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 so. Uh, I mean, power and finesse, I mean, t tonight he did it all. I'm sure he didn't get 37 every night, but tonight everything he did, he's winning. Yeah. I mean, he's hard to stop because he can he can step outside and shoot the three. He could, uh, I mean, we were up, uh, I believe, six, and then, you know, we there was a scramble situation. He's trailing the play, throw it to him, bum, not down three. It's a three-point ball game, you know. So he, he can do it all, and you know what, this year, I think he's he's so much more dangerous than he was last year, just because last year I thought he relied on his perimeter shooting, and this year, you know, he's all around the basket and he's tough to guard. I mean, because he posts up, he's strong, he has quick post moves. Uh, we were trying to double team him to get the basketball out of his hands, and you know, he was making quick so, such a quick move that we couldn't even get there to uh, to double team him <coughs> to eliminate the uh, 30, him getting 37 points tonight. All right, thanks, Alex. Okay, thank okay. you.